Hey guys, today I want to tell you how left we are now that you have to start every tweet with saying, hey, men were privileged here. So every man has to say this when they go to f and raise their hand and say, hey, I have privilege. I apologize to everyone. And so I'm going to show you some pretty interesting developments. I think eventually Hasbro is going to realize Something is uh, very wrong. Um, something is not correct here. And hopefully they realize that soon because I'll, I'll be honest, it's a pretty scary environment when a cis white male has to say, hey, I'm a cis white male here, privilege. And that's how he begins a tweet. I mean, can you imagine a situation when that would be okay in a Fortune 500 company. So I own a business. Many of you guys have jobs. Most of the people we're going to see on Twitter right now do not have jobs. They are, quote, full-time magic players slash content creators. And that creates an environment where they're not trained. So even when you work at Chick-fil-A or, I mean, they complain at Walmart, they still ha you still have a manager. Your manager might be an ass, but you still have to show up on time. You still can't leave early. You can't act and behave anyway. I mean, imagine a society where it was just 1,000 wedges. No, no content would be produced, no money. They would just get donations. And that's where we are today. Our society is incredibly weak, in my opinion, because no one has a job. Or they're doing what they love. Hey, sometimes you just got to work your 40. I work 60, 80 hours a week. I don't complain about it. I like it. And if I don't work it, my employees lose their job and their children can't pay for stuff. So that's on me. So I have responsibilities. It would be very easy for me to be like, oh, well, you know what? I don't care. I'm going to go to Japan. I mean, I haven't traveled in a long ass time since I've started my company. Because I know like if I leave, I'm... Who's gonna make payroll? Who's gonna do account? Who's gonna do all this stuff? So, responsibilities. Magic the Gathering players have none, and I'm not talking about the typical Magic the Gathering player. I'm not talking about uh, the one with a job. I'm talking about the one whose only job is to receive donations and or show for the left. I don't know if that word is offensive. I think it might be. Like so many of these things are just so new to me because I feel like like the word turf, I didn't even realize what it meant or non-binary. That was the first time I encountered it because I was like, oh, isn't that what we used to code with? Binary, you know, the S-O-S, -S D-D-D dot, D, Morse code, right? Morse code is binary, by the way. And as is every single piece of code, every single video is binary. Um, the megabytes are just uh, zeros and ones. So it's either a zero or a one. It cannot be in between. It cannot be different from them. So we have a situation where I think the left has absolutely dominated our game. And this is due to Donald Trump. I'm not blaming Donald Trump. I'm just saying it happened with Obama. How do I know this? Because I've run social, heavy social media before I've run political campaigns for the Democratic Party. So I know a lot of you say I'm Republican, but I'm, I'm moderate. I mean, I ran free campaigns for the Democratic Party, including one statewide campaign for, in Texas. We won one out of two, which is not bad because, again, we're in a red state. So I don't really have... I'm a moderate on most issues, I am a Republican when it comes to finances. I believe in small government, less taxes. If you give, if you tax my business less, I can hire more people. I can give more donations to charities I like, including foster. I foster a lot of dogs, obviously, you know this. But when it comes down to left, um, the movement on the left, it's quite scary. Like, I'll, I'll just point blank tell you, it's pretty scary. It's not as simple as um, it's guilt by association. That's how they got Teresa Nielsen. I think Teresa Nielsen is the best example of what they're going to do to everybody who does not agree with them. So Teresa Nielsen didn't post anything conservative. She didn't. She just followed and liked uh, a few conservative-minded individuals. 
But if I follow someone, does that mean I believe every idea they have? No, because how do I know what their future ideas are like, right? So of course, then what happened was they screenshotted the most outrageous thing that that conservative said, and then they screenshotted Theresa Nielsen liking them on a different post, and voila, one-to-one -one connection, and let's go on a hunt. I have also been the victim of something like this. If you remember on this channel, there was a clout chaser who no longer has a job. She lost a job that she had for two and a half years, and you know, I the company her CEO was a white cis male. And it's like, whoa, what are you like? As soon as the CEO sees what you're posting, there's no way you're going to have a job. He's going to be like, whoa, that's getting dangerous because you can turn on me. And she did. She did turn on that company. At first it was like, oh, well, you know, I'm looking for a new job. Awesome. Freelance opportunities. Awesome. And now she's been jobless for like over two months or at least a month. Um, and I don't think anyone is going to hire her because it's, I mean, would you hire someone there who would just say really sexist stuff all the time? Probably not. I mean, I think, would you hire someone whose sole goal is to chase clout and attack random other agency owners? You have no idea. And those agency owners are not going to, so I'm not the only agency. Also attacked uh, agency owner in Austin who was a female agency owner. She also attacked uh, various other quote issues that she was addressing. I mean, this is where we are right now. Um, Twitter should not control Magic the Gathering because most Magic players don't use Twitter. I think 20% uh, of all adults use Twitter. And then out of the top 1% make up for like, or top 10% make up for 80% of all tweets. So you're looking at a very small demographic being really loud because they're always tweeting all the time. While the majority of people don't either use Twitter or if they use Twitter, they just tweet, you know, a little bit of the time. Wizards of the Coast is a dummy organization if it's basing its monetary... It's basing... It has a lot of really poor decisions, and I think it's based on Twitter. I think they've been convinced by Twitter and Reddit. So the average Magic player is a casual player. I think we can all agree. You look at EDH and you look at everything else. Yeah, EDH is probably what they're playing or kitchen table magic. So the average magic player is not going to care enough to post on Reddit or Twitter or start, you know, a Twitter account, right? It's not worth it. So I would say 95% of magic players are not going to tweet or Reddit post. That's only the extremists. So when the extremists to the left, extreme left leaning individuals start posting because they that's what they love they love those likes and i it really comes down to like the mana source he's never had a job his entire life how does he know responsibility how does he know like an eight hour work day when he's never worked one if our society depend if imagine like our society had more wedges would we benefit from this no there's no output there's no product being produced not even content there's just people sucking donations and mythic additions into a supposed charity that has yet to happen rooster teeth just had its extra life charity wedge when is yours they raised over a million dollars by the way when is yours wedge and the answer is probably never because you got to make money like that's so funny when a guy contacted me and Wedge was trying to sell Ixidor for $10, and even though he tried to make fun of MTG Finance, when the card is worth $10, I think, what is it, fifteen twenty now? I mean, it's going to keep going up because the more morph... I mean, before it had no utility, and now it has maximal utility in a morph commander deck, which is, again, the majority of players are playing commander, and that's something they like to play, you know, morph, like trap cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! There's a reason there's a whole type of card called trap cards, right? So basically, I'm here to say that, my gosh, we are really out there in terms of left extremist policies. Um, when I look at some of these suggestions, I say to myself, huh, how did this get 500 likes? It, it's crazy to me when I, uh, when I really think about it. Hasbro has to have someone intelligent enough to realize this is not good. This is bad. Um, this is bad, 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 bad. Um, and even like Mary Luke, who I thought was a very reasonable and incredibly productive magic content creator uh, in terms of, uh, you know, she 
got AJ, which was her ex-boyfriend. She got Owen, which I believe also was her ex-boyfriend. She was right. You know, I have no reason to doubt what she's saying about Reed Duke and so on. Um, or any other characters she may mention. Uh, so she's a very interesting individual from my perspective. Not just because she is a cis female, um, who I believe is binary, given her relationship with Owen and AJ, but because she stirs up a lot of drama, and I love it. I think it's great. Um, at the end of the day, you have a magic community, and the magic community is so extreme left that I, I really scratch my head and say, how did we get here? <laughs> like, how did we get point A to point B? And it was uh, Donald Trump. Again, I'm not blaming Donald for this, but remember when Obama was president and there was Tea Party movements and we had like a crazed woman called Sarah Palin from Alaska who was like, like her, her IQ could not possibly be very high. I would l listen to her like speak and I'd be like, oh my gosh, I've never heard someone speak who had such bad ideas and like was so bad at like expressing her bad ideas. <laughs> the Tea Party movement was a quite fascinating time, right? But now we have the squad because our presidents go from Democrat, Republican, Democrat, Republican, Democrat. Now we have a Republican, right? I mean, look at the last presidents. We had Donald. Then we had Obama. Then we got some Bush. Then we got some Clinton. Then we got some Bush again. I think Jimmy Carter was next and Reagan and so on. So every time it's the same with um, social media for weapons. So I cannot say this type of weapon on YouTube, but you kind of, it goes beep, beep, boop, boop, boop. And um, I guess it doesn't do that, but it's a weapon, right? And weapon usage based on the Second Amendment, this type of weapon is covered in the Second Amendment. They sales plummet after Donald Trump was elected. So the largest gun store in Texas, oh, I just said it, wanted to hire me to do their social media. Because they were there, I looked at their numbers, and as soon as Donald was elected, no one needed to buy a bunch of guns to store at home because they're not worried about Obama taking your guns away. That's so. I I need you to understand that principle. If a Democratic president gets elected, whoever that may be, Elizabeth Warren, Mayor Pete, whoever it may, be, Joe Biden, Sleepy Joe, um, you can be sure there will be pushback to the center. You can be sure there'll be more tea parties and all of this nonsense. It's tough, you know, it's tough um, being a magic player because now it's, magic is political. So there will be backlash. I guarantee you there will be a push towards the right should a Democratic president be elected. I don't know if they were called Tea Party. I always thought that was kind of a lame name. I'd probably give them like a, a more ferocious name than Tea Partiers.